Hi folks, this is RotorStorm331, back again for a little, um, streaming of Final Fantasy V. I did start a playthrough, uh, shortly afterwards, so I made it all the way up to the ship graveyard. And, uh, recently, in my, uh, playthroughs of, uh, both regular playthrough and Poor Job Fiesta, I just, I did discover, uh, another way to grind jobs a little bit easy for early play or whatever. And, um, basically, uh... It involves a lot of monsters fighting right around this area in the um, ship graveyard. So basically what I'm trying to do here is basically train my team up to Master Blue Mage. Um, basically what I'm going to be doing is um, probably use this normal playthrough to Master Monk and Thief for most characters because we're going to be transferring those stats from those two classes right here. We're also going to master Blue Mage so we can transfer learning to um, Freelancer. But anyway, um, normally you would wait until getting to um, Dark Flame Island, which is like north of Crescent. But uh, there's actually uh, an area right here, right after you have the scene of Ferris where you have access to the uh, beds right here. And then after you get control again, you'll be back right over here in the safe spot. So basically, there's going to be two formations we're going to be looking for here. We're going to be fighting pretty much every monster that we come across, but technically the two formations we're going to be looking for are the Skeleton, the Kolothaw, Kol, uh, my apologies if I don't say that right, and Mind Flusher. That formation gives us two ability points, whereas if, uh, the big prize, of course, is fighting uh, two Undead Husk which gives us three ability points, and that's going to be our, those two formations are going to help us build our ability points to rack up job abilities. So we're going to start looking for those uh, formations. We're also going to wipe out any formation that's not part of the formations we need to look for. So basically this is the um, formation we do want to be encountering most of the time, if you're lucky. Thankfully Blue Magic allows us to give us access to arrows, so we're going to use that to obliterate the Undead Husk, they're weak to that. So basically, um, you get three ability points for destroying two Undead Husk. Now, there is a chance of winning um, Elixirs from these monsters, so this is also makes it a very good place to farm for Elixirs, in addition to racking up uh, ability points for your job. Now, of course, uh, Skeletons and um, Mind Flushers also have some pretty interesting rewards. Mind Flushers gives you basically uh, Flame Scrolls, which is very nice to have if you're planning to do uh, use Ninja's throw ability. And that's basically on the Aga level pretty much. Now, unfortunately, this is not the one formation I was talking about, but we're still going to destroy uh, this formation because, one, we do need the ability points as much as we can, and we won't always get the ones we were doing. We're going to go ahead and wipe out um, this formation. This only gives us one ability point. So right there, we want uh, Flame Scroll from the Mind Flushers. Those monsters drop that. Skeletons also drop um, Daggers, which are good right now at this point in the game, but uh, they become rather useless later on once better weapons become available. So hopefully we can find the other formation I want to show you real quick, but right now this formation gives us only uh, two ability points. I mean one ability point, my bad. You'll have to forgive me if I say everything wrong. So anyway, this is the other uh, formation I want to discuss that. There. This is the one you do want to target, because this gives you two ability points, and there's a good chance you can get one or all three of the Formation items of elixirs, um, flame scrolls, and uh, even daggers. Of course, the chances of getting all three are pretty slim. But anyway, you get two ability points from fighting these monsters. So basically, what you want to be doing is fighting just about every battle here, but those two formations that I just mentioned are the ones you want to target for the most part in order to get the uh, ability points you want to maximize. Now, uh, earlier in the game, you'll be building up a lot of levels, but uh, once you get into um, level 13 or higher, uh, getting them out, this kind of experience points won't be as huge. So, this actually becomes a good place to get your job levels built up without 
building up too much experience. Not to mention getting you some extra heal in the process. And if your uh, mana power is low, you can always go back to the beds to heal. And save your game as well. So we're going to go all the way back here and heal up. So basically, um, this is actually a pretty decent area to train your uh, par party's jobs earlier on. Basically, it's good for any job that final ability that requires 150 to anywhere between 400 or 450. Now, technically anything above um, 500 or more will probably need to require you to go to either Dark Flame Island or wait until um, you go to Castle Val where you can fight the object yards and win up to 40 ability points per battle. Sorry if I was moving around like that, but technically we're gonna um, keep fighting here and I'll show you why this helps, um, this helps immensely. Unfortunately my party didn't uh, attack the same monster. Yeah. You also need to wipe, watch out for Mind Flusher's Black, because that inflicts sap. So that gives you two ability points for that pack. Very nice to know. Now, the enemies are undead, so make sure you don't use uh, Blue Mage's uh, Vampire on these guys, or otherwise you'll lose quite a bit of health. But anyway, I'm gonna wipe out these monsters and get to the next job level so we can um, basically show what how useful this area is. Now, one thing to point out though is that by the time you get to the end of World One and go to World Two, uh, you will not be able to access this area again. So it's best to do all of your job training pretty much right here if you want to load up on elixirs because during my last job. Before Job Fiesta, I was able to rack up like almost 50 two elixirs just from uh, fighting this entire area here. You can also win uh, flame scrolls pretty early if you want to make use of ninja once that job becomes available. So yeah, right now our blue mages don't have enough strength to destroy uh, all enemies on their own, but eventually they will. <coughs> okay, that was pretty poor. But yeah, that skeleton is not going to be much of a threat to us here. We'll just go ahead and wipe this guy out with regular attacks. So anyway, right now we're at 49, so... For most characters except for Ferris. But anyway, that's pretty much the general gist of um, this grind. So once I get done here, I'm going to um, give a rundown as to what you can do here for uh, job interview. So yeah, I want another flame scroll right here. So anyway, let me go heal up first, and then I'll give a quick rundown. That's what you should be expecting to see. Right, let me go ahead and get to the save point so I can save. But anyway, as you can definitely saw, see right here, we were at 30 earlier, but thanks to some of those monster formations, we were able to basically snag uh, more ability points for our job. So, it does take quite a bit of patience, though, because it's not a very easy process to um, max out all the jobs you want on, in this area alone. And of course, you do want to um, build up your experience level, too, so once you get to Dark Flame Island, and, um, you definitely want to start using that area because you'll always get three ability points 
But right here is definitely the best place to train in World 1 if you don't want to be over leveling your party, but at the same time also making sure to make sure they get all the best jobs they can get for right now. Like, it would be the best place to master Monk, Blue Mage, and Thief early on. If you got the time and patience for it, that is. But anyway, as a quick recap, uh, the monster formations you want to target are the two Undead Husk, which gives you three ability points. You also want to target the monster formations consisting of a Skeleton, Mind Flusher, and Cthulhu Those um, give you two ability points. But the mid real draw here is that you can win Elixirs, Flame Scrolls, and even some Daggers that you can use um, for your adventure. And, it's, and if you're very lucky, you can win a lot of Elixirs just grinding jobs here for the most part. Just make sure you target the Undead Husk and the Cthulhu for the most part, and you're pretty much set. But anyway, that's going to be it for me um, today. I hope this helps you uh, enjoy playing Final Fantasy V regardless of version. I mean, this could probably imply to the SNES version or uh, Pixel Remaster or any other versions you might have, or even the Game Boy Advance version, which I do have. But anyway, that's going to be it. I'll be highlighting this uh, a little bit later and uh, exporting it to YouTube. So anyway, take care. This is Rotor Storm 331 signing off. Have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.